okay? We have someone here cleaning the uh, chimney as well like this. Weigh in time. Don't expect to lose weight, day one. I'm also wearing heavy pants. <laughs> but let's see. Okay, 286. It's okay. It's okay. It's only day one. And my body's got to adjust. Let's go some bacon. Yeah. All right. Not sure how much, how wise this weighing every day is, but let's see. Yeah, gained. Gained a pound. Mm. So the weight increase is a little annoying. Um, uh, a little disappointing, rather. But <clears throat> it's to be expected, apparently. I don't know. I don't remember gaining weight on the Atkins diet. But maybe, maybe I did right at the beginning. It's only day three. I'm doing it right. You know, I'm doing meat and water. <laughs> it's not hard. Uh, maybe I'm having too much bacon. Um, I don't know. Maybe I ought to focus more on the meat, on the beef rather specifically. What did I have yesterday? I had bacon, breakfast sausages, a couple of eggs, burgers in the evening. I think that was it. Um... I had wings the night before. I don't know. Maybe I just need to uh, focus a little bit more and cut down the fat. You know, the bacon was worrying me beforehand. So, but anyway, day three, gained weight, but sticking with it. Drinking lots of water. Hopefully it will get better. Meat. Uh, day whatever, four, weighing. I uh, forgot to weigh myself before I eat. So. We'll see, it may not be great. 286.8. It's down a little bit. I'm on day four. Um, weighing in, uh, I actually ate before I weighed myself this morning. So I think I've lost a little bit more. Um, but the weight loss is slow. Um, I'm enjoying the diet. There's a lot of kind of cool food that I can eat. I haven't quite figured out how to make tasty burger patties yet, which is weird because I love burgers. But normally I add like a bit of onion powder, garlic and all that. And I'm trying to do just salt. And uh, I don't know, just not tasting good. I don't know if I'm using enough, not enough salt or I don't know. Maybe I'll try a little onion in them or something. No, that's not. Can't do it. Carnival. Um, not all waters are created equal. I'm drinking from Trader Joe's their New Zealand artisan spring water thing. It's from New Zealand anyway. And it's delicious. <laughs> it's really good water. It's so much better than like Arrowhead. Oh, Arrowhead's disgusting. Or Evian. No, I don't. Can we get Evian out here? I've seen it occasionally. It tastes like soap to me. Um, but yeah, Trader Joe's New Zealand artisan spring water. It's bringing out the artist in me. But what I have noticed is a slight headache today. Uh, and I don't know if that's detoxing from something or other. I mean, I came straight off of the potato diet. So I can't believe there are that many toxins in me. Unless it's potato toxins. By the way, taking these. My hand is covering the... Uh, 50 plus but i'm taking these uh it's generic uh costco brand multivitamin i don't know if there are better ones i read some of that i should think about taking magnesium or something called creatine i heard that on joe rogan's podcast or something but uh i am taking multivitamins um but maybe i need some uh why did i don't have enough calcium I could eat a little bit more cheese. Oh, anyway, those are the vitamins. But yeah, I feel a little bit under the weather. Um, I've read something called the carnivore flu, which can happen where you just start to feel a little bit sick for a few days and then it clears up and you feel amazing energy. Um, and my skin's cleared up. I was just feeling it. My skin is uh, clearing up a little bit. And other than a slight headache and a bit of a stomach ache as well. 
which is worrying me. But it's only day four, so I've got to stick with it. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll put this video up now. There's like, <laughs> It's been like four days. Anyone who is watching this stuff probably thinks I've gone off the diet. I haven't. Still doing great. Still having eggs and burger patties and chicken wings and beef balls and sausages and ribs and steak and 